Hello, Amanda. This is Andy Blaylock, and you've asked me to critique your video. So that's what I'm going to do today, is critique you and Paris. This is your run at 2S Arena for the championships, and uh, what a great job you did. So let's take a look first in regular motion. All right, some nice footwork there on the third barrel. Okay, so let's slow this down and look at your run in slow-mo. So you come into this first barrel. I really like the way you are sitting her right here. I understand she has a little bit of a problem getting past that first barrel, so you sat her with that outside rein. Notice that when you do that, she sets her back right uh, hip into the ground. So really nice job. Now here, my only critique would be, at this point, you want to drop that hand and you want to be pulling that hand down towards the barrel there so that uh, she rolls back into her turn and uh, knowing the type of bit that you use on her and her turning style, that would really help her. Because notice how right here, she's turning good, but here she kind of takes the bit up away from you a little bit. Okay, right there and that, that can cause the horse just a little time, all right? Really be kicking with that outside leg as you're coming out of the barrel. Remember to close one door and open another. Think about where you want her to go. Now, <clears throat> I want you to look at your hands here. You're not really pulling her head away from the barrel on the first or the second, and what a good job you did. You really just drilled this one in the ground. The only thing I'll critique about right here is if you're going to hit a barrel, you're going to hit a barrel, and we're all um, we're all guilty of trying to save barrels. I know you didn't necessarily try to save it with your hand, but when you thought that you were tipping it, you leaned inward as if to try and miss it, and your horse did exactly what you wanted her to do. In your mind, you're wanting her to step off that barrel to keep from knocking it over. It was just a little bit of a delayed response in you leaning inward to move her off. And moving off is exactly what she did. It caused her to loop out into her third barrel pocket. And as a lot of folks know, that when you get such a big pocket going to your third barrel, look at the distance between your third barrel and your pocket. Your pocket actually runs right up into here. That's going to cause your horse to drop its shoulder and clip that barrel. Now, it could be that the reason why you grabbed her head out here and you, um, you snapped her head away from the barrel is because you knew you were going into that pocket wide and you were going to have to make up for that and do some jockey work. But if, you, if possible, I would really like to see you to be able to finish this turn like you were doing, but remember to sit up. Don't lean inwards as you do right there because then she floated out into that pocket. I would like for you to come out of that barrel and head straight for your next pocket, making the same pocket that you did go into this first over here and then into this second. And that would have really probably cut a couple tenths off of your time. So let's watch you here. You start to snap the head away right here. You can see that elbow coming back right there. You see that elbow and you're pulling that head away. What that does is it throws the shoulder out and it causes the horse to only have one direction that it can go and that is to try and pick itself back up. A lot of times you'll see horses trip and fall and other times you'll see them go ahead and start creaming barrels. But like I said, it could be you were just jockeying to get around that barrel because you knew that you had such a big pocket and you knew where she was going to go. But what a great job right here getting that leg over the barrel. I could not have done that myself. So excellent job. You look like a gymnast on that horse. All right. And then here you went ahead. You was kicking. We were screaming. And that's why you won the race. So kudos to you. Kudos to you. Great job, Amanda. This is Andy Blaylock, and I hope that my critique helps you. Not a whole lot to talk about, but if you'll correct those things, you'll be on your way. Thanks, and we look forward to our races down the road.